Ladies and gentlemen, if you could hear something in the background, that's probably the fireworks or gunshots going off in the background. More than likely fireworks, but hey, you never know. Somebody could be doing um, some nefarious activities on the 4th of July just to be that way. But in any case, the USFL Championship has concluded. And what a game we were given. The Birmingham Stallions, led by head coach Skip Holtz, beat the Philadelphia Stars, led by Bart Andrus, 33-30 to win the USFL Championship, the first in this new iteration of the USFL. Remember, the league is coming back next season in April after the Masters. So... What a fantastic game this was. I mean, it had everything from the insanity of the final nine minutes or so of the fourth quarter to the rest of the game just being as crazy as possible. We're talking Case Cookus out here being a chef, throwing a, throwing a trio of touchdowns. Two of them went to Jordan Sewell. Also with a two-point conversion as well. Case Cook has unfortunately got hurt in this game, so he had to sit down, and that led to KJ Costello coming in. On the other side, for the Birmingham Stallions, Jamar Smith, he was throwing it up to Victor Bolden Jr., who, who, who got the championship game MVP. Bo Scarborough, he had two big runs, ran all over that Stars defense in the first half especially. Marquise Gates was all over the place. Scooby White, we'll talk about him in a moment, you know, with a, a very serious play. And then you, then you had J. Mar Smith getting hurt as well. So Alex Magoo had to come in, and I realize I've been saying his name wrong the entire season, but that's okay. I got it now. So Magoo's in. He plays a couple of clutch drives in the fourth quarter. You know, it was back and forth in which, you know, Birmingham had momentum, then Philadelphia had momentum, and then it went crazy in the final nine minutes or so of the game. And it, stuck in between all this is Brandon Aubrey missing like three kicks in this game as well. Terrible. That That is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. But in the end, in the end, K. Jack Costello threw up an errant pass and got picked off by Scooby Wright, who took one to the house that proved to win the game. And despite the fact, that, you know that, despite the fact that you know the Stars were able to, you know, get a touchdown late, they couldn't convert on the fourth and twelve onside, and it is what it is. Stars lose this game and the Birmingham Stallions are your 2022 USFL champions. Congratulations to everybody on the Birmingham Stallions. You all worked hard. You all made it. And you all, you gave it your all. You gave it your all. You fought hard. You won it all. Winning 11 games, that's the most Skip Holtz has ever won in his career. He's bringing, he's bringing a trophy back up to it. Daddy Low, Daddy Low with the fighting guy rush. I, I can't do a good skip. I can't, I can't do a, a good Lou Holtz. My bad. I'm sorry. Um, man, what a game! What a season! I have never, I, I've never anticipated that a spring league would make it. That's that we're talking outdoor. We're talking outdoor. I never thought, you know, I think an outdoor spring league would make it again to having a season because I I didn't know what the XFL was back in 2001. I did not. I football. What is that? I was like four or five when the XFL debuted back in 2001. So I didn't know what in the world was going on. We're talking. I was around for the UFL back in 20, 2009, 2010, and then the, the UFL disappeared in 2011, in 2012, before they disappeared off the face of the earth and died. 
And then you had the AAF, which I didn't really pay attention to, and then it died. The XFL, which I followed very religiously. In fact, that's why that's why the thumbnails have gotten so advanced. It's because of the XFL to draw people in. But it died five weeks into the season because of Corona Chan. And it'll it'll be coming back in 2023 along with the USFL. And the momentum for the USFL gonna be great. Cannot wait for everything to line up for 2023 in the USFL. I'm so excited and I cannot wait for next year. And again, if you're a Stallions fan, congratulations to you. You did good. You did good in cheering on this team for the Stars. Don't worry. You guys could be back here, you know, next season. Who knows? And for all the guys who are potentially getting looked at by the NFL, hint, hint, guys like Victor Bolden, guys like Case Cookus, you know, others that are on other teams as well, I think that there's teams that have some legitimate chances of some guys going on over to the NFL. I really think that. So, in any case, that's it for the USFL 2022 season and until 2023 see you all to talk again about the USFL good night everybody and happy 4th of July <laughs>